I would say the pro most pro-European nations in Britain would be Scotland and Northern Ireland. Um, the most um, anti-European, well, anti European would be um, a strong word, but the the most critical would be the, the, the would be England, mm. um, with Wales hovering in the middle. Um, I think there's also a number of risks that um, we will be taking if we uh, follow the Brexit side, because because Scottish are so pro-European, the SNP, the Scottish Nationalist Party, are talking about a second referendum mm. if. The, if the UK leaves uh, the European Union. Um, at the same time, for Northern Ireland, if we have a Brexit, we suddenly have a border between Ireland and, and the Republic of Ireland and Northern Ireland that will impact the trade um, and the stability of the region in itself. Yeah, it's, it's really interesting actually because I think the, not only the breakdown in the regions of the UK, but even on a regional level within England, it's quite a stark divide between more metropolitan areas of London and yep. to a degree the southeast of England uh, and the northern, so some northern areas. It often comes down to how much um, sort of the industries in the area, what is the um, sort of poverty gap, what is the employment levels. And it, you find there's quite a sort of um, strong correlation between areas which are economically deprived and are at the same time you're a skeptic because they are concerned about the immigration from Europe. So therefore, their their idea of you know sort of getting the economic sort of prosperity back would be to sort of um, reduce immig immigration numbers from Europe. I mean, I think Wales is a, is an interesting case in point because it type of shows the different economic benefits from different areas within the United Kingdom. So, for example, Wales actually gets 120 million pounds more for in EU funding than it puts into the European Union budget. Um, so that's 120 million pounds that they'd instantly lose if we were to become out. But even though that's the case, interestingly, uh, Wales actually is a sort of, as Tim said a semi sort of Eurosceptic country. Um, previously, um, in the 2010 election, UKIP had about 4,000 votes. In the last election, they had 250,000 votes. That's an enormous increase. Uh, but we're not really sure why. It's probably because the Euro UKIP um, ideology or UKIP political mantra is buying into this sense of dissatisfaction within the country. And it's not necessarily a European problem that people are against. It's a problem that they're against their own government, they're against the fact that they're economically disenfranchised and dis disenfranchised from society in general. And Europe has been kind of a sounding board for a lot of people's grievances about their own lives, about their own communities. And it's not Europe's fault often, it's usually our own internal government. 